Hello, welcome to the YouTube channel of the AutoCADArchitectureBlog.com. I'm Attila G. Horvat, and in this video I'll present you the most important elements of the AutoCAD Architecture User Interface will be used in this video series. This is the first part of how to set up user interface. The application menu is situated on the left upper corner of the application and next to it the quick access toolbar. The ribbon is overhead and consists of panels. Just below it you can find the file tabs which is the novelty of the AutoCAD Architecture 2014. Then below it the drawing window is displayed. And at the bottom of the drawing window you can find the drawing window status bar. And at the very bottom of the application the application status bar is shown. We are going to use the tool palettes a lot. If it is hidden, you can switch it on by clicking Ctrl and 3 keys. We are also going to use the Properties palette a lot, and you can turn it on by clicking Ctrl and 1 keys. If any palette is in hidden mode, take the cursor to the title bar and with right click turn off the auto hide option. The other option for doing it is if you click on the auto hide icon below the close button. If any palette is in floating mode, right click on the title bar of the palettes and check the drop up menu if there is a check mark next to the allow docking menu item. If there is no check mark, click on the menu item and then grab the title bar by left clicking to try to dock to the palette on the left or the right side of the screen. Press the Ctrl and 1 keys many times one after the other to check or to practice how to hide and how to display the properties palette. Repeat pressing Ctrl and 3 keys to hide or to display the tool palette. Sometimes during your work the visual style and the view of your drawing will be alternated. Three tools will be used. One of these can be found in the upper left corner of the drawing area called Viewport Controls and consists of three labels. Click minus to display options, changing the viewport configuration or controlling the display of navigation tools. Click top to choose between several standard and custom views. Click 2D wireframe to choose one of several visual styles. Most of the other visual styles are used for 3D visualization. The second tool is the view cube situated in the upper right corner of the drawing area. The view cube is a 3D navigation tool that appears when the 3D graphic system is enabled and allows you to switch between standard and isometric views. If it is not shown, use the ribbon menu, view tab, then the windows panel, then the user interface and finally the view cube route to be shown again. The third is the navigation bar. Basically it is situated vertically under the view cube. From here, other navigation tools can be reached, like the pen, the zoom tools and the orbit tools. If there is not, it can be displayed or already described in the view cube. In the next video I suggest some settings for your fluent work. If you like this tutorial, make sure you subscribe for more.